Hello, welcome my elite gang to Ninja BBB. I am Harry Freshness at Drigo, of course. I'm the convener of the elite gang, of the elite squad. Yes. <laughs> Have you subscribed? Please do. Please do subscribe so that you can know when more videos come up. And of course, like and follow on Instagram and all the social media platforms, and those of which are in the description box. Now, um, we started work. Everybody has started work, obviously. So, except you're self employed, you probably, you know, jump in one bus or the other, or a car or something, you know. So, today we're talking about transportation in Lagos State, public transportation in specific. And I was just sitting in the car the other day, I was sitting in traffic specifically the day that I was like, oh my god, you know, somehow we always seem to, you know, make light of the situation because there's nothing we can really do though, so that's what we're talking about, public transportation. I'll be back. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Welcome back, my elite. We're talking about public transportation today. Now, first of all, I have to describe to you what public transportation is. Public transportation, by my definition, is when you take a public car or a public vehicle to your destination. Hmm, okay. Hmm, I have to scratch my head because it's very important to describe what public is in this context. I say that public means vehicle will not be your own this means that no be only you get the moto mm -hmm. this further means that you enter the moto and you give money or you collect money for them now why i say collect you see some people they feel like say they are moto now they are on a go buy moto computer for uber now public transport your car don't become your car your car of public transportation what is this you're saying okay so Public transportation, you're taking a car, you're taking an office bus, you're taking a, anything is public transport. Just take it like that. You're using your car for Uber, you have become public transport. Okay. If now you buy them and now only you drive them, maybe once in a while, you keep it with no problem. That's private car. But if now you buy them, but you use and do Uber, you use and carry people. Maybe your colleagues, and after end of month, they go gather money, give you say for fuel, your car after public car. If you used to take Okada, it's public transport. If you used to take Keke, it's public transport. If you take bus, it's public transport. No, no lie. Nigerians will take public transport. There's nothing wrong in it. Even the owner of the fair has said that before, when he was still, you know, a normal human being, when he wasn't yet a god, he used to take public transport once in a while so he can commune, you know, he can understand where people, uh, you know, what the people were feeling and how the people were feeling. So there's nothing wrong, I beg. These posts is for my sisters, especially, where we always form, say, I know if you enter a bus. I get some friends there, eh, if they want to enter a bus, they will form paparazzi, like, say, they don't get, yeah, they enter a bus. Sometimes, you need to be saying, if I want to enter a bus, I don't go use makeup. Yeah, so, we will be like, ah, see this fine video, because conductors, they can disgrace on body. So, Sometimes I know they, you know, I know we use makeup and tap balls, but we don't always set up. Everybody thinks there's nothing wrong in it. It's the way our system is. Because sometimes you'd actually own a car and envy people inside buses. Because with these drivers, they drive like the devils on their tail. Before you know what's happening, you've got to where you're going to. So it's even easier in the long run. Sometimes you just take all the transport and go to where you're going to. So, um, this is a new year we've all started going now to just stay working. We need to know some things, you know, we need to know so and would i call it bus ethics or public transportation ethics okay let me say public transportation ethics we need to know these basic ethics you know these basic things for when you enter public transportation first of all always hold your change always hold your change now this means that if your transport money is like 150 if you give the conductor 500 naira, it will cost you you know they like us so always hold your change I beg some of these bus conductors their head is not correct so you always have you know even if you don't have the exact fare have like you know let have like money that doesn't require too much you know balance that way you avoid if you do not have my sister 
My brother, use your sense and collect money from other passengers. Don't be ashamed. That one mini conductor, collect their money, give conductor. So you avoid costs. Some people, their life is just to cause other people and make other people unhappy. So, you know. Okay, so another ethics is please use deodorant. Hey, have you ever, ever, ever been in public transport and you sit beside somebody who doesn't smell so good? So what would you want to do to others? You know, what would you want to do to others? So I think it's nice that you're probably, you know, if you clean shaven and you have deodorant, it's just ethical, it's just normal, man, for you. If you, if you even if you don't have to smell good, smell clean. So please, when you enter a bus, you, and you know, sometimes my situation somebody that smells terrible, I know it happens, but at least let it not be you who's the one who smells terrible. So not just boss, you know, office boss, everywhere, you know what I mean. Okay, so first one is try to hold your exact fare or something not so greater than what you're supposed to pay. And then the second one is try to smell good. And then the third one is always listen to your fellow passengers. I'm sorry, I'm a tata fool by nature. So whenever I'm in the bus, I tend to learn one or two things with people. And I do that by listening to what other people are saying or sometimes not saying. So you might sit in a public transport and somebody is talking about, you know, current affairs, let me use current affairs as an example. Sometimes in the bus, you see you know, passengers talking about the nation's problems, a normal thing. So sometimes you can just listen and learn. I have a friend who works in the radio station room in Inugu and he has a car, but he says in the mornings, he likes to take the public bus from, from his home to the office. Why? He gets topics to talk about. He gets topics to talk about on air from these people. You'd be surprised at things people say when they feel nobody knows them. I know I do that. So usually when you enter into public transport, just listen, listen to what people are saying. You know, it helps sometimes, especially for people like us who are in the media. We learn, we get topics like my friend does. So yeah, so you have to listen. So that's the third one. And the fourth one, ethics of when you enter public transport. Please, my auntie and my uncle, if you're hungry, eat. <laughs> I have to say this because I have a friend that used to say, No, it's rude to eat when you're on the road. Eh? 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 Auntie, eh? I beg you, when I'm inside bus, if I'm hungry, I know I don't like gala. So sometimes I used to respect myself. Before I enter into a moving vehicle, I buy what I like, what I will eat. And depending on how comfortable I am, if I'm in a taxi or private car, and I buy food, if I'm in a, like really public transportation, I probably just buy something that is more acceptable. I don't understand that one of don't eat. Which one is don't eat? Is it your belly? It's my belly. Please eat. Because the thing is, you might be going from one place to another. When you get there, you might not exactly have the time or the chance to eat. So it's better to just eat when you're on route. So please, Auntie Uncle, if you're hungry, eat. But the ethics or the, the thing you need to know is how to dispose of it. Yes. Do not do it outside the moving car. Even I'm guilty of that. You can just, you know, gently put it under the bus. These people, they clean their buses, they clean their cars. If it's a moving car, put it in a, 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 a satchel, like a nylon bag to dispose of later. You know, so it's just, you know, cleaner to do something like that so the fifth and final rule for you to know when you enter public transportation in Lagos everybody is a madman the driver is a madman the conductor is a driver is a madman the other people driving the other car is a madman so when you come to Rome you behave like a Roman yells that means that when you enter Moto you have to be mad too if they cost you if you're in the mood you cost ever if you're not in the mood you keep quiet but you need to know that every every driver in Lagos is a mad person. Now this madness is not just respect to drivers, it's, it's also there for the conductors, it's also there for even the people walking on the road, all of them are mad. So you have to know that, you have to be armed, knowledge they say is power, be armed. Every person on the road in Lagos is a mad person, they're not civilized person. The only civilized people are those that are sitting at the back of the car and someone else is driving in their private cars. Those are the only civilized, the other person is mad. So those who just are rich, agree that they are mad and be prepared. So these are the five ethics you need to know about public transportation in Lagos. You know, just, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Give me the thumbs up, like, and a plus follow on Instagram. And yes, have you seen my Nollywood color videos? If you haven't, Click, click, click. Bye, guys. I love you, my lids. Have a great week. Mwah.